highly unlikely that Donald Trump won't be on the ballot for the general election. Very, very likely, almost guaranteed, he will actually be on the primary ballot in Colorado because of this stay. Uh, because the Supreme Court doesn't have to touch it until January 4th. Then they can take uh, however long they want to uh, look at it, and it will inevitably be stayed during that time. You need a certain amount of advance time to have the ballot printed. Colorado uh, primary is in uh, March. And uh, so uh, I, I would imagine almost assuredly he will be on the ballot in the primary. But nevertheless, we will go over uh, this question of the 14th Amendment. And then, of course, it, it's almost impossible to imagine that particularly this Supreme Court uh, <laughs> wouldn't uh, allow him on the ballot. But with that said... Let's talk about um, what he's doing uh, while he considers himself to be a candidate for the president of the United States, which uh, he still is. Um, we uh, told you the other day that uh, over the past weekend, I guess it was Saturday, and I can't remember if he was in, uh, I think he was in New, New Hampshire, Hampshire, Durham. Yeah. He, um, he talked about immigrants uh, coming to this country and uh, destroying the blood of our country. And he said, you know, we've got immigrants. It's not just the countries you're thinking of down in Central America. It's also from Africa and Asia. Right. Destroying the blood of our country. And we watched uh, Nancy um, uh, Stockatipolopoulos. What is no, it? You're, you're confusing all of these right wing hacks. Uh, not, it's uh, Nicole, not Nancy Mace, but Nicole Malio Stocktips, <laughs> oh. a.k.a. Malio Takis, okay. who represents parts of Staten Island. Uh, and George San Santos has called her Malio Stocktips too much. Okay, amusement so by she, me. she uh, got some inside uh, information while she's in Congress to make a lot of money with her stocks. And we watched a clip of her yesterday trying to justify this by saying, well, he was actually talking about policies. Mm -hmm. The you know, policies were All the policies in. that are coming across the border from Africa and uh, Asia, as you know. Nevertheless, here is Donald Trump um, repeating his line, putting, um, you know, Miss uh, Stockalopolis, uh, wherever, stock tippets. Tips. Yeah. Stock, uh, stock tippets. Um, uh, making her have to I mean I imagine she's not going to go on TV for a couple of days yeah, being so like, did I stutter <laughs> did I stutter Malio stock tips but this is what I meant the Nazi thing here is Trump saying well I did say that but to my credit it's my line I didn't plagiarize they come from Africa they come from Asia they come from South America but not just South America they're all over the world they dump them on the border and they pour into our country and nobody's there to check them. And the Border Patrol is incredible, by the way. They want to do it, but they're told not to do their job. It's crazy what's going on. They're ruining our country. And it's true. They're destroying the blood of our country. That's what they're doing. They're destroying our country. They don't like it when I said that. And I never read Mein Kampf. They said, oh, Hitler said that in a much different way. You know, they're coming from all over the world. Okay. Um, now, just to be clear, I mean, I don't know what Hitler said it in a much different way, I guess, is like he said it in German. Um, but the, um, and we said this the other day when we were talking about this. We don't know what's worse. The idea that he was just copying Hitler because he knows this is a um, extra dog whistle. I mean, what he's saying in and of itself is, is obviously incredibly offensive and uh Scary. and and racist yeah i mean and white supremacy i mean all of it um to purposely lift it from hitler is a way of signaling to um uh, his neo-nazi fans hey you know look at look at what i've been reading right um to just generate it on your own and have this moment of like, great minds think alike. What can I tell you? I did not take it from him. I've never even read Mein Kampf. Um, I would imagine anyways, he probably uh, heard it on a book on tape type of situation. But the, the point being that it is still so uh, racist that you've got Republican Congress people on TV pretending he didn't say it and then just unfortunately for them he comes out the next day and says oh I did say it but I just want to make sure I'm getting credit yeah 
I didn't plagiarize it. Trump doesn't read like, you know, there were reports that he barely read the documents that were provided for him as president. And, you know, they had to be kept short. That was also Bush's problem, right? He wanted shorter, shorter. Memos. Oh, my God. Yeah. Um, it seems like a pattern here. But like, uh, so I don't doubt that he didn't read Mein Kampf because I don't really think Donald Trump reads very much. But that doesn't mean that he doesn't have an understanding of who he's gesturing towards. And either way, we saw this when, you know, Steve Bannon and, and I would not be shocked if Bannon is a part of this. Or Stephen Miller. Or Miller, right? Who's an actual white supremacist. Let me just say, supremacist. I did not yes. read Mein Kampf. Now, Stephen Miller, well, of totally. course he did. In fact, he, he, gave, he gave me a book report and just said, I said, Easy, uh, well, give me a list of the best lines from Mein Kampf. Yeah, Steve's and clips notes are just, I never read it. Are just so good. Um, you know, like it, w- all of this stuff screams like Stephen Miller to me. Um, and I've he was on cable news fairly recently. I'm wondering if... He's seeing this as an opportunity to to weasel him, himself back in. Oh, um, I'm not sure he was and, ever out. Well, sure, but maybe in a more formal role. Uh, I don't. I have very little doubt in my mind that he's behind the blood uh, comments, and oh. so this is just more of the same. And and what Trump is going to learn from his time in office is that I'm not messing around this time. I'm not going to listen to people talking about restraint, how I shouldn't use the Insurrection Act. No more like Rex Tillerson. No, 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 yeah. no, 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 no <laughs> more, no more Reince Previses Reince in Previses. my administration. Yeah. No more guard. <laughs> Rails. Oh, that's what I'm going to do if I'm president. And the guys like Stephen Miller will really <laughs> be running the show that time.